to all Patreons and uh, channel members for uh, supporting me. Uh, I'll be releasing project files to my Patreons and uh, exclusive tutorials for uh, channel members. For details, please check link in description. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Viz. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, uh, we will set up uh, the AI perception. So once the drone uh, uh, sees the player, uh, it should uh, start chasing the player. So we will set this up uh, in this video as far as good or else we will break it, break this part into two videos. Okay, so uh, first thing uh, in the behavior tree, if you noticed, So the drone uh, waits for five seconds. So even uh, if it is in wait, it is still moving. So we can see that. So that's because uh, it is not uh, uh, stopping when the uh, moment input is removed. So to control that, go to your BP drone and then the character movement on uh, Under flying, okay. Give the just two hundred. Now we see it waits for five second. Okay, it moves, stops there, wait for five seconds, and then rotates and move. Okay, so let me put in some walls. So open your uh, drone uh, AI controller, add AI perception under census config, add site config. So under this, I'm, I'm leaving the values to default, uh, just this enabling here. Okay. Then uh, on begin play, cast to BP drone base and promote this to a variable drone AI preference then here get controlled pawn okay now so don't need this stick on perception updated for each loop so later we'll be adding uh, hearing and uh, uh, damage sense so this is similar to the patrol AI we set up uh, almost similar to that so put the branch so we are identifying uh, the actor with the tag so we'll add the tag on the character intent third person blueprints third person character and here tag player okay here actor hashtag player so if it is true Get the actor's perception. The actor should be connected from here. So this will have the uh, 
list of senses that's detected on that actor. So again here we need to do a for each loop. and promote this to a variable and set it as active active sense then uh, switch on int and connect the array index here so for each sense that uh, that that got that detects the player will be doing uh, different actions so add zero for now and create a custom event here and name it as site sense call the site sense here On the site sense again now uh, we will uh, do a branch and get the active sense get the stimulus so check if it successfully sensed So if it is sensed, then promote this to a variable, the stimulus location. Stimulus location will be our player's location and receiver's location will be the drone's current location. So we might need this uh, uh, later. So promote them to, the, to a variable. And we have to check the drone's status as of now. I don't think we created the variable here. We just created uh, the enum for it. So AI state drone AI states the AI state and switch based on the AI state mm. before going that far let's see if this works print player on site Okay, player is on site. Player is not on site. Okay, so this is fine. Okay, so the logic here is so when the player uh, is either in patrol or uh, investigate uh, state, uh, it should start chasing the player. So from drone AI ref set the AI state here set this to chase and we have to set the uh, drone's max fly speed uh, so by default what's the flight speed we have set Okay, we have set to uh, uh, 600 so while 
on patrol let this be in 400 okay let this be 400 for now we can change that if we want so uh, drone AI ref character movement so he set the fly speed here fly speed so this is set to 600 ok I will stop here for now so in the next part we will cover the chase and on the behavior tree we need to uh, uh, put in the chase branch uh, so that once the player is on site the drone will start uh, chasing it thanks for watching Bye.